You know, throughout Scripture, be it the Old or New Testament, there are certain Scriptures that many of us are familiar with. And the challenge of that is we can become over familiar with them. We can allow our familiarity lead us to a place of forgetfulness, where we really forget the significance of what's being said. In 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, we come to such a verse. Listen to what Paul writes to Timothy. He says, for God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. This is amazing to me because I don't think it's natural to have discipline, power, and love in a way that's life-giving and healthy and sustainable. I think it's supernatural for God to give us this ability to be self-disciplined to be able to, to walk in power and not have it destroy us. Because you've heard that statement that power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. To be able to love genuinely, selflessly. These are supernatural things. To be able to be one who walks in the power of God's spirit, disciplined by his spirit and genuinely love others and not be tangled up by fear and timidity. I think the content you take in drastically impacts your outlook. You've often heard it said that outlook impacts outcome. Well, may our outlook today be shaped by the truth. Listen, God's not given you a spirit of fear or timidity. The enemy would like to give you that. God has given you, well, as it says here in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, a spirit of power, love, and self-discipline. So today, in Jesus' name, walk with him, love people, you can be disciplined and you can walk under the authority and power of Christ and in his power today.